let's make sure our audience, all of our audience understands what a short sale is. So what in the world do you mean when you say this is a short sale or uh, this uh, has the potential to be a short sale? Absolutely. So a, a short sale is where a homeowner has some type of financial hardship. Okay. So they've lost their job. They, they went through a divorce and they can't afford the house. So now they're in a situation where they have to sell the home or lose it to foreclosure. But if they sell it, they have to come to closing with money and that's money that they don't have, right? That's why they've missed the payments. So they have no equity in the house. So the choices are lose the house because I don't have the money or we go to their bank and we get the bank to take a loss. So instead of the homeowner coming up with 20, 30, 40, how much ever thousands of dollars, we get the lender to accept a, a, a lower payoff so that they don't have to go to foreclosure. And the reason why the bank agrees to that is at the end of the day, if the bank forecloses, they're only going to get what the house is worth. So if they sell it now through a short sale, they can mitigate their losses by not having to worry about the homeowner trashing the house, paying for a foreclosure attorney, and going through that whole process. You have a homeowner that's willing to cooperate, maintain the home during the process, and then sell it for the highest that they can. So, so when, that's a so, short sale. So when you're helping a client uh, that's in that situation, part of your job, part of your service is to justify and convince the mortgage holder mm -hmm. why they would want to consider a short sale on this particular property versus a foreclosure versus them going into foreclosure and to show the lender how they will save money. Is that right? That's correct. Because the bank is always going to look at the cost of like basically what you just said. They're going to look at, okay, if I foreclose, am I going to make more or less by agreeing to do a short sale? So most of the time, they're going to make less because if they have to go through a foreclosure, think about this. One, the homeowner can drag it out for a very long time, right? They can do bankruptcy. They can, you know, attempt to try something with the bank, all of that. So who knows when they can actually move forward into foreclose. Once they do, they have to pay a foreclosure attorney. Meanwhile, they're not getting any money, right? They keep spending money and they're not collecting. Then they're going to have to evict the homeowner, file for eviction, then finally hire an agent to go through the process, see what's going on, and then list it for what the house is worth. So why not avoid all of that if you have a homeowner that's, will that's willing to cooperate and sell it now for what it's worth? I help real estate investors raise private money for their deals. So if you would like to have unlimited funding for your deals, regardless of what your background is, et cetera, but being able to get all the private money you would want, and I'm not talking hard money. I have got a brand new, just written hot off the press money guide that you can download absolutely for free and you can get it right now. It's titled seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate business and help you in build incredible wealth. Go right on over right now to www.jayconner.com forward slash money guide, and it will put you on the path to getting all the funding you need right now for your real estate deals. Get it at www.jayconner.com forward slash money guide. Download it right now.